This is a video demonstration for the Whack-A-Mole game for the Whack-A-Mole Lab. When the game first starts up, it paints a splash screen, gives the name of the game, and tells the instructor to touch the screen to begin play. I'll go ahead and do that. This brings up the mole board. This particular mole board is set up for nine moles, and you'll see that the mole holes are just simply black circles, and that the moles themselves are red uh, filled circles that are drawn. You can see that as the game is proceeding that uh, the miscount's increasing because I'm not hitting any moles. Um, when I touch the moles when they're present, you'll see the hit count will go up. Let's go ahead and hit a few. And then you saw the level just went up because I hit that. Let's go ahead and hit a few more and see the, the levels continually to go up so that uh, it becomes more difficult. So this will take me to level two. Now I'm level three, and it's getting more difficult. Let's keep tapping moles. And finally, we get to 25. And on this particular game, that means I go to level 5. And now the difficulty is at its max level. And you see now we have multiple moles simultaneously active on the screen. Once the miscount hits 50, this game will terminate. And it will paint the game over screen, which is hits and misses <coughs> and the final level. And I can touch it to try again. Um, if I want to change the game layout, say go to just a formal game to make it a little bit easier, I can hit the slide switch and then start the game over. And now I'll just have the, uh, the formal version because everything else is the same. Um, right. Or um, if I want to terminate this game, I can push the button, go right to the game over screen, and then um, go to the sixth mole version. That should give you a pretty good idea of what the game is supposed to look like so that you can uh, pass it off to the TAs.